How do you do, fellow kids? It's Fortnite time. All joking aside, I have started playing Fortnite again over on my Twitch. No hate. The no build mode, no sweats, is, uh, is pretty good. I find that I like that. Anyway, we are here to review the Fortnite nerf collaboration, rotating bolt action, rough wrap edition, bolt action, sniper rifle. I guess. Anyway, HR, the heavy rifle, eight, the, the, the hay rough. Anyway, a uh, rotating bolt action is just their way of saying that it works like a traditional bolt action. You rotate to prime and then go back. Comes with a six dart clip and a detachable barrel, which is probably the only way that it fits inside this box. So let's uh, go ahead, hop in here and see what we're working with. I don't know if this one's gonna come with a code. Sometimes they come with codes. Well, that's usually for the Minecraft tie-ins. The Fortnite ones are just sort of as they are. So we've got the blaster itself. What we can only assume is housing the bolt as well as the barrel. Some assembly required. We'll go through the whole thing. Why not, guys? The magazine, which is a completely unique magazine mold. It actually looks pretty good. It's interesting because it's longer than a normal six mag or six clip as Hasbro erroneously refers to them would be. However, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I think that it lends itself to the aesthetic of the kind of cartoony rifle world that Fortnite exists in pretty nicely. So we'll go ahead and load that up. Six rounds pretty quick using the uh, almost like whiteout elite darts, just a little funky. This is a standard in-strike barrel attachment, so you don't have to worry about it. You could attach it and then detach it if you wanted to. And that's actually a nice feature. Hasbro very frequently will do these sniper rifles. And when they do the sniper rifles, you have to kind of like click them into place. And then once they're clicked in, they're very hard to store afterwards. This is very smooth. Like the paint on top of the mold release, giving it this almost like kind of candy gloss look. It's pretty slick. We'll go ahead and plug this in. I think that that goes in exactly like that. It only clicks in one place. And like I said, that was the kind of click that once it's assembled, it's assembled. So I wanna say I paid about 40 bucks for this at Target for what is effectively a bolt action kind of retaliator clone. The stock is non-removable. You're kind of permanently attached to the stock and it is comically short. I mean, you guys can see there, it's not really doing much for me from a stock perspective. That said, the barrel is comically large and is the kind of thing that given its relatively narrow ID would be reducing your overall FPS, but you could remove it for either storage or a, uh, or to make it, is this a jam door up here? Let me grab my Chavez here. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the world's weirdest jam door. You could see the breech system in there. And in all honesty, I guess it's kind of nice because it was very clearly molded into the shell. It's even got the Nerf logo on it. Not bad. You've got paint on one side of the blaster and not on the other. So if you're buying this as a video game tie-in, just keep in mind that you want to display it one way. But in terms of the overall kind of Comfort and aesthetics, it's very small. It's a really cramped sniper rifle, but it won't hold that against it too terribly much. After all, uh, Fortnite's a little cartoony. The bolt does not expose. When you pull it back, it just shows you more bolt. It's actually kind of cool. Then down, I wonder if it matters. It sounds like, here, let's see. So you can fire without clicking it down, but you, you feel like you want to click it down. Prime again, pretty good. Let's just real quick. Slam fire. The old slam fire bump action sniper rifle, eh? Get them while they're hot. Um, I want to point out that from a role play basement battle perspective, there's nothing like the, the pump action. I feel like I'm ready to hunt wild Bobololos already. But from a performance perspective, we'll have to take it outside and put it over the chronograph. Can you not drop the magazine while the bolt is closed? What is this, 2020? Um, all right. Firing it popped the bolt up a little. I think that was accidental, but you know, interesting. Iron sights are made of plastic. Stock is a little too short. Barrel is a little too long. Grip is comfortably oversized, unironically. Bolt action is cartoony sniper goodness. Let's take it outside. All right, guys, so we're out here with our Fortnite heavy rifle, putting a few down range, getting those chronograph numbers, seeing what we're up against here, and then we'll put some uh, into the target, but uh, it's just comically small. And I really do think that performance is gonna suffer with the barrel on, so we'll start with it on. 48, oh God. 63 isn't bad. And 67, so let's pop this off and see if that improves our lot in life at all. 62. 
56, 71. So uh, I think it's safe to say that it performs better without this on, but if you're buying the bolt action blaster and you don't want the big barrel, then you know, how are you gonna alliterate your life? So I think that you should, you should rock it, you know, as the Hasbro overlords intended. If you're gonna do a comically overpriced, comically sized blaster, you should, uh, you should at least get your full sniper status out of it. So our target is about 20 feet away. We're not gonna bother with iron sights because these are elite darts, which means that, you know, your chances of hitting, hitting your target with them are kind of up to, the, up to fate, but it was pretty good. One in the top left, top center, bottom of the fence. This is surprisingly, this is one of our more accurate, I take it all back. For $40, they found a way to make elite darts hit the target. No, in, in all honesty, that is, that is very impressive. I really dig that. And uh, again, like I said, this one's not one that you buy for performance anyway. I mean, you're getting an elite standard blaster with shots cresting up towards that 70 FPS threshold. It's clearly capable of hitting targets even with the worst darts out there. And you get that, you get that click, click, boom. I mean, it's really, I like that. I like the, the role play aspect of it. I like the extra kind of element of play, which is something that gets talked about in the industry a lot. Where like, you know, let's say, you buy this toy and you use it for a long time and it gives you like kind of fun outside of the dart bl blasting aspect where even when the darts are gone, you can still click, click. It's very tactile. It's got a good tactile vibe to it. And in that sense, if you are a Fortnite player, or maybe if you play Fortnite with a younger foam flinger and you dig this kind of aesthetic, or maybe if you're even outside of the Fortnite line and it goes on sale particularly, I think $40 is a little steep for this blaster, but certainly $30 is, is pretty, pretty reasonable for something with this much click, click, boom. But uh, that's just my take. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I think this one's pretty cool. It's nowhere near as, uh, as gruff as I thought it was gonna be. I'm actually kind of a fan. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, like I said, always excited to get your feedback on new product like this. and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, blast on, check out.